As we've seen from our time in tropical North Queensland, there's plenty on offer for the adrenaline junkie right through to those that enjoy other, perhaps less exhilarating pursuits. And right now, I'm off to satisfy one of my favourite, let's call it a weakness. Now, Lynn, yes. I think I've got my golden ticket here somewhere. You must have had that so, a few times, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Our uh, Charlie's different, though. But Charlie's a, different. Uh, well, it was my little segue into how did you come up with the name? Uh, it's a secret. Is it? Yeah, and you have to do the tour. Oh, OK. We only tell people on the tour where our Charlie comes from. Well, there you go. You've got to come here and do the tour. <laughs> exactly. There you go. We've got 2,000 cocoa trees here. 2, and uh, we actually grow them on trellis, which is a little bit different. Right. And the climate? Yeah, Obviously perfect. good for it, perfect. by the size of these guys. Yes, yes, perfect for it. There should be some little flowers up here. I don't know whether you can see them, Shane. There's some tiny wee flowers there. They've just been pollinated and they form a shirelle. And you need around 100 flowers to give you one pollinated cocoa pod. Wow. And one of these guys, one cocoa pod, equals one bar of chocolate. Is that right? Yeah, approximately. Wow. What's in here, Lynn? Yeah, is this where all the magic happens? Yes, this is where all the magic happens. So this is our uh, this is our mobile manufacturing unit, and uh, what we do in here, we conch our chocolate, which makes it lovely and smooth. And we conch for about two hours, and then we make it into beautiful uh, bars of chocolate. Nice, in our I love it. Machine. Oh, it's such his colour, don't you feel? Yep, put it under and travel it backwards. Now move across. <laughs> So, would you like to try some of the chocolate that came from the trees? I would love to. I never thought you'd ask. Well, right, I thought you might. What are we going to start with? Okay, we'll start with Mount Edna. So, those are the trees you've just walked amongst and saw the little flowers. Oh, yeah? Yeah, great. So, that's from our own trees here. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Big so, bit. <laughs> so, that's one uh, that's been included in awards in Paris. Mm. Uh, in 2017, it was included as one of the best 18 chocolate uh, in the world mm. in Paris. That was okay. really good. So, we'll go from Mount Edna Dark, which is 70%, into a Kaka Island. Now, this comes from Papua New Guinea. We, we deal quite closely as well with the Pacific region, okay. where those farmers don't get a very good deal on the world market. And there's two words to describe Kaka Island milk. One is decadent and the other is addictive. Thank you. No, true. true. <laughs> really? Yeah, no, honestly, I'm, I'm not a chocoholic, but it's Kaka Island. island. Okay. So it's a volcanic island. And because the soil is volcanic, the chocolate is absolutely beautiful. We'll bring you more adventures from tropical North Queensland later in the series.